It's time for our top five most commonly mispronounced cycling brands, part two. And we say part two because we produced a similar video way back in 2018. Well, it seems that initial top five just wasn't enough, with many more mispronunciations popping up again and again. So we thought another video would be handy, just so we're all sure. As always, before we get on with the show, don't forget to like, subscribe and click that little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. We mentioned back in our first video that SRAM is an often mispronounced name. For the record, it's SRAM, not SRAM, and we've been guilty of this ourselves. Electronic group sets have since launched from SRAM and Campagnolo. However, SRAM didn't do itself any favours when it released its new top-tier wireless group set back in 2019. On paper, it looks simple. SRAM Red ETAP Axis. Or perhaps SRAM Red ETAP AXS. Unfortunately, both of these are wrong, and even the journalists here at Bike Radar have fallen victim to this naming faux pas in the past. So, for clarity, and SRAM even has a page for this on its website, it's SRAM Access. Because the group set gives you access to the brand's wider connectivity system. Still don't believe us? Then check the link to said page in the video description. Now, we've never heard the bike brand Trek be pronounced incorrectly, but what we have heard is the model names of some of their top-tier road bikes come out in some rather strange ways. Let's look at their endurance bike. Is it a Domain? Or a Domane? For the record, it's Domane. When it comes to its all-round race bike, we've heard Mad One and Madone. However, it's pronounced Madone. After the climb, a famous Texan, a long-time Trek-sponsored athlete, used to check his form before the Tour de France. And finally, the brand's all-round race bike. No, it's not the Trek Edmund. Or Edamame? It is the Trek Emonda. Accessory brands are just as ripe for mispronunciation, and here are two of the most common. Those lovely bike racks you put on the back of your car? Are they made by Thule? Thule? Thul? In fact, all of these are wrong. It's actually Thule. Want to lock up your bike nice and securely while protecting your head at the same time? then perhaps you need a lock and helmet from a certain German accessory brand. But how do you pronounce it? A bus? A bus? A bus? Yes, it is actually a bus. If there are any other easily mispronounced accessory brands we've missed out, then don't forget to let us know about it in the comments. Italian brand names are among the most commonly butchered by both cycling journalists and punters alike. Take a look at this amazing bike to start things off. Is it a Willier or a Villier? Another easy one to get wrong, but it's actually Villier. Here's another beautiful bike. Is it a Bianchi or a Bianchi? For the record, it's Bianchi, though probably said with a better Italian accent than mine. One more just for luck. Is this a Cinelli or a Cinelli? Unlike Bianchi, the C is hard, so this famous brand should be pronounced Cinelli. There's probably a whole load more, and I'm probably butchering the pronunciation myself, but we hope you get the picture. Finally, we thought we'd give you a couple more classic mispronounced bike brand names, starting with Marin, 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 Marin. Marin. For the record, we're pleased to say our technical editor, Alex Evans, got it right when he actually met the brand in America a few years ago. It is Marin Bikes. But it's not just American brand names we sometimes get wrong. We've heard a certain Spanish mountain bike brand pronounced Mondraker and Mondraker, but which one is it? So we've double and then triple checked and it's Mondraker. We now hope you're one step closer to phonetic cycling supremacy. But can you think of any other mispronounced brands or model names that we've missed out? And of course, don't forget to let me know if I got anything wrong in the comments. As always, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon so every time we upload a new video, you will get a notification.